time to get in on the summertime fun with Wii Sports Resort. There's so many cool new activities to play in this Wii Sports sequel. So kick back with a cold drink, stay out of the heat, and enjoy my playthrough. It's time to play some table tennis, some ping pong. We have a match here. You can face off against other people if you'd like to. I'm going to be facing off against the computer because none of my friends are here with me. And I don't have two Wii remotes, and they would probably be really bad at table tennis. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. Again, I look like I'm a hipster. I look like those type of people you'd see at, um, at Hot Topic trying to go and find a really awful Halloween costume or I don't I don't even know I just I just look weird all right so there's a bunch of different stamps here you can get in your face for some reason you get a stamp for hitting your opponent's face with the ball in single player mode back from the brink successfully return a ball that hits the edge of the table and bounces at an unpredictable angle making it harder to hit okay epic rally is getting uh, going back and forth with 30 hits or more you have perfectly matched uh, draw your opponent in single player mode according to the house rules the match is declared a draw if neither player can get two points ahead and the score reaches 2020 table titan is beat the table tennis champion which is probably matt knowing how that goes so you point the wii remote at the center of the screen the 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 thing the paddle actually controls exactly as it would in an actual match so this is going to get interesting the sunglasses are going on the serve is happening here and let's see how much we can do here. Uh, you can curve it a specific way, you know. There we go. That's a bit more. I think that actually hit him in the face, right? Did I already get that achievement there? Let's see. It looks like I I did already get that achievement. Nice. So here we go. Uh, table tennis can be uh, very fun in this game. Not as much fun as in real life, I guess. Uh, this kind of functions the same way that table that tennis does in um, Wii Sports, and I totally messed that up for me, but oh well, so uh, he gets to serve there. Uh, I'm going to move over this way just a little bit because I'm more right-handed, So, or I, actually I guess I'm not. Um, it, it works kind of the same way where your character is not being controlled by you, it's being controlled by um, the computer, like the game itself. So you're not actually moving your character about here. Uh, you're only in control of the paddle, so there you go. Um, and when he hits it at the wrong timing, there's um, a chance for you to spike the ball down there. And you can curve it a certain... Wow, he got out right there. Okay. Um, you can curve it a certain way and, um, you know, try to get as many uh, points ahead as you possibly can here. And I messed up right there. So sometimes you have to hit it with the left side, with the right side. Which is why it's good to keep your paddle in the middle. That way you can really judge what uh, what way is best. So you curve it over this way here. Uh, and you can kind of dive for it too. It depends. So obviously this being the first of any of the matches here. It's going to be a bit easier. 100 points scored. Uh, we got in your face uh, got right there. The return challenge has been unlocked. The return challenge. It's basically trying to get the highest score you possibly can. Now, I'm not saying I've gotten to 999 before, but I absolutely have, and I may end up doing that again. I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to do it on video right now, but it'd be its own separate video that I would do. I'd do like a highlight reel sort of a deal here, and it looks like this character is a lot more difficult than I intended. Tried to do a dive right there. Look at that dive. Bam. Rolling on the ground there. Oh, yeah? Okay, sure. And table tennis, you know what you should do? Instead of watching my videos, go watch, like, professional table tennis. You want to see some insanity? Oh, boy. Those guys have... Oh, man. They are so... Like, it's crazy how fast they go. And that's going to be a spike right there. There we go. And back over that way. Nice. Um, there's some high-level gameplay happening with professional table tennis. Like, it's obviously nowhere near like this right here. And you may say, Brian, how much does this relate to actual table tennis in real life? Uh, the fact that you can't control your character is highly unrealistic. But in terms of how the ball moves and whatnot, the, the certain types of moves you can do, yes, it does make sense. But um, actual table tennis is a lot more physically involved than you might think. 
Like here you're just controlling the Wii remote and that's one thing there. But it's just not as fun in my opinion. And you spend a lot more time than you may anticipate actually like gathering the ball after it's already been shot out of bounds. So it depends. I I don't like it as much. So I'd rather play Wii Sports table tennis here. And now this is starting to get a little hot. Starting to get a little hot with this uh, this thing, this uh, hat on me here. But that's fine. Uh, you can do a little, little little dance right here. Shimmy. A little shimmy shimmy. Shim sham. Shim sham. And there you go. If you hit that at the top right there at a, a certain angle, it'll go super fast as well. So you get a bit more. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And there we go. Nice. Good stuff. Nice. There we go. And you can still recover from that too. You just got to time it right. You got to totally time it right. It's not impossible, but it's very uh, semi-difficult to pull off there. There we go. Oh, right in your face. Right in your face. Here we go. There you go. And you can hit it a little bit like more delayed to try to get like a, a cooler looking shot here. And as you get higher up in the rankings too, they will start hitting the ball when it gets right to their face. That is possible, but obviously in real life, you can't quite uh, hit it when it goes toward your face there. So that's out on my end there. There we go. All right, so 3-1. There you go. You can sometimes kind of hit that with the side of the paddle too. Like the, the very thin part there, in the game at least. You can kind of do that. And I don't know how I pulled that one off, but here we go. Um, this is going to be tough. Wow, 30 volleys back and forth maybe. Okay. Oh, that's tough. And then all the music goes away. Everyone stops talking and you just hear the echo of the ping pong going back and forth there. So here we go. Wow, out on that one. Computer player messing up real good. Messing up real, real good. All right. Come on. And almost out on their end. There you go. Right in your face. Dunzo. So I may play one or two more matches here, and then I'll show you what the rally looks like. Uh, this is another one of those that's pretty basic and straightforward. You just work your way up toward... Um, well, there we go. Got two of them right there. Um, you just work your way up more and more. As you go higher up the ladder here. So we already have three of the stamps. Pretty nice. Do a little do a little dance. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. There we go. Okay, go this way. I'm trying to really psych them out here. Then bring them over toward that side. It's it's a certain type of flow to it as well. There you go. Good stuff. There you go. I thought that was almost out. So when you can judge the ball going off the table, let it. Like, don't hit it back because that'll count as an out and that'll count as a point for you. So there's literally no point in trying to go for a ball that's going out of bounds. Unless you just want to keep playing the game for the sake of playing it. But, you know, the point is to win. So, you know, uh, let the ball, like right there, let the ball go out. If I went for it, yeah, I probably still would have got the point eventually anyways. But the fact that I won the point right there... By just letting the computer, ooh, okay. Uh, by letting the computer do what he needed to do, that's on him, you know. So it just, it just depends. So you gotta make sure you time it out properly. And sometimes it can be a, a very uh, close call, like it kind of was right there. So um, let's see. There we go. Good shot right there. There it is. Nice. And that sort of thing kind of does happen in the game of table tennis as well. And that almost messed up my microphone, so oops, my bad. Here we go, over toward this way. And the more that you can get the computer to go all the way to one side versus the other, then that's good too. Uh, we haven't really seen that much of a, a spike in difficulty yet, but um, let's see here. Ooh, that technically counted for me. So watch this. It was right on the edge of the table. Look at that. Technically, the com the the game counted that as a victory. It shouldn't have, but it did. And that's how they actually judge table tennis as well. They do that. I'll play one more. Why not? These are going pretty quick anyways. So they they actually judge it that way too. So they have instant replays and all that. It's a, it's a big old official sport and everything. So keep that in mind. It's not just some... Uh, I totally messed that one up. Um, keep that in mind. It's not like a kid's game. It's not supposed to be for this... Uh, you know, there's definitely a very 
passionate audience for table tennis. And it's very intense. And some guys go crazy, just very fast. So now we're getting kind of into it here. There we go. And then spike, there it is. And again, you can still go for that too. If that happens to you, you can totally do that. I'm trying to change up the wire here to be not in the way as I'm playing me some table tennis here. Here we go, that should be a, yep, there it is. But when they do that, that gives you an opportunity to spike the ball and uh, have it work out a bit better for you there. So, let's see here. Nope, out. So, and even the computer knows, hey, he's gonna hit that out, don't go for it, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, you don't do that either, so. And it does depend on where the ball goes, how early you hit it and all that, so. And you can slow the ball down a bit if you wanted to as well. So, there we go. Ooh, hit that back, nice, okay. So there you go. Now it's starting to get a little interessante here. Okay. Yeah, there we go, see? So I'm getting a little sloppy here. I can't get sloppy now. All right. Um, that was a tough one right there. And sometimes you need to be a very far distance from the table to actually make that happen. Wow, that counted as out because it hit the net. Look at this one right here. Bam, technically hit the net right there. This is a match point here, so. See if I can redeem myself. Oh, that's an out, but I still went for it. I couldn't really tell in that moment. Like, if you can tell, oh, that's so close. It was so close right there. So, there we go. Uh, and the more that you let it, like, fall, the better of a chance you are of getting, like, a spike. There we go. Come on. This is intense. Okay. Ooh, got the out right there. Maybe I can tie it up. For the win. I can tie it up. All right. Five, Even. Off. So, Two Deuce, games. you got to get two points ahead to win. That's how, ta ta that's, how tennis, that's how tennis works as well. There we go. Nice. Good. So, I need one more point. We got it. Okay. And now, if they get a point, then we're evened up again. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So my remote kind of wonked out right there. I, I wanted to switch to the other hand, but it didn't work. Or switch to the other side, I should say. And some people hold it one way, some people hold it another way. It just kind of depends. Okay. Go that way. Yep, there we go. Nice. Excellent. Tied up again. Match point, baby. Let's go. For the win. Ooh, come on, mamma mia. Oh, seven all. So in order to get that achievement, you have to go to 20. That's the thing. Will that be possible here? Probably not. I'll probably win before that. Or I'll lose before that. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Eight. One more. Match point. Come on. Come on. Uh-huh. Okay. There we go. And that's it. Done. Nice. All right. So I finally won that one. Took a little bit longer. So you can see the difficulty going up as time goes on. So I should have gotten a good amount of points. on oh, 50. So 550 there. I'm going to show you the rally. Uh, the rally is just hitting it back and forth over and over and over and over and over again. I think it's Matt who is uh, tossing the ping pongs there to us. The ping pong balls. We'll see. So no me characters, of course. Won't be able to keep the high score, but I have it all recorded on video so you can see exactly what uh, I'm going to be doing. So that's more than enough proof for me. I'm going to take these sunglasses off just so I can see what I'm doing here. And so before we get into it, let's look at the Stamparoonies. We have 50-pointer. Okay, so clearly 50, 100, 200. Recycler is knock the can off the table with a ball 30 times in one game. Then save face. You have a score of 100 points or more without the ball ever hitting the server's face. Even if it just takes a bad bounce off of a can. Yeah, so uh, that will be a thing we can aim for. I forgot there's actual cans in here that you can uh, get extra points for as well. So uh, that's crucially important to getting to the 999. But um, there's all sorts of different ping pong balls here. Uh, you can kind of notice also that there's like this black outline. That kind of helps you visualize exactly uh, where the ping pongs are going. So 
That's good. I believe these get faster over time as well. So uh, you want to try to aim for the can. Uh, you don't need to, but there you go. So you get an extra three points there. So obviously a bit helpful. Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay. And you can see it getting a little bit faster here. Maybe. Um, I wonder how high it can go. That'd be pretty sweet, man. Um, okay. And the cans will not disappear at all. Multiple will not appear on the screen at all. It's just a matter of you uh, getting that correct one right there. I'm trying to, you know, really get the right uh, score here. Yeah, you can clearly see it's a lot faster than it was before. And sometimes it can be a really bad bounce or a very uh, unpredictable ball that can really mess you up. And look at that. Trying to get some good skills here, baby. Good skills. And he can do an off random one right there. That can really mess your day up. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to go for this one here. And sometimes, you know, you can do that and it can just land improperly and really mess you up. So, uh... And that, that one for not hitting him in the face for 100 rallies, that's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. And I thought I had the can right there, but I clearly didn't. Ooh, okay, so I accidentally missed the bounce there. But, oh, okay, so that happens. So that is basically the rally. I might try to do for 9.99 eventually. But there's a 50-pointer earned right there. So that's, that's table tennis. It's a lot shorter than everything else. Uh, the next one is going to be golf, which is a little bit different course-wise than we sports. Bowling is fairly the same. We have just four remaining here. Oh, boy. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me. As always, my name is Brian Saviano. We'll see you again next time for more We Sports Resort. Peace out. Bye.